morning everybody it's Lucy Clark from Mind Food again uh, back with another session of our five steps to growing so on Wednesdays we look at uh, the five steps to growing um, which uh, pretty much equate to ways that you can look after your well-being too and so um, a couple of weeks ago we looked at planning and preparing and that was about uh, taking stock of your resources uh, and deciding then what you're able to grow based on what you already have Last week we looked at planting and sowing and that was all about getting started, uh, about starting to realise all that untapped potential um, that is uh, in both seeds and people. And then this week we're going to be looking at protecting and nurturing. Uh, so that's about providing uh, conditions to thrive. And in well-being terms, that's all about being mindful of the things that can be detrimental to your well-being and doing your best to lessen those effects. In the garden, this is about protection, protecting your young seedlings or even your seeds. So it's about checking out what the immediate threats are to your uh, young plants. Um, and of course at Mind Food, we grow without pesticides. So we really uh, look at deterrence to stop things uh, 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 destroying our crops. <laughs> um, and, um, and that's really the best way about going things generally. So deterrents are all about making things difficult for little creatures who are trying to uh, get after the things that you're growing. Obviously they're just out for um, a meal and, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it, it can be pretty soul destroying when a snail comes and eats a whole bed of lettuce. So uh, really what we're going to try and do is uh, take stock of, uh, well, have a think about what sort of things could be after what we're trying to grow and really trying to make life as difficult for them as possible. So when you're um, sowing seeds and grains you have to remember that that's a, a little creature's meal so it'll probably be a matter of uh, keeping things covered with netting and making it difficult to for little creatures to gnaw into the uh, ground to, to grab those things. Um, for once you've got uh, seedlings, uh, you're really wanting to uh, protect from slugs and snails, uh, particularly uh, when the weather's quite wet, because that's when they all start um, coming up and um, getting very hungry, and it's much easier for them to move about. So you need to be a bit more aware of them when the conditions are uh, wet. And so for slugs and snails, we tend to either use sharp sand that we get from the builders, and we build a little barricade around them, uh, about around the uh, young plants uh, because it's actually a, a, a surface that slugs and snails don't really like um, crawling over. Um, also um, crushed eggshells will do a similar job. Uh, it would be great if anybody's got any tips that they want to share if they want to just post them on Facebook as well. We, we, we love a um, pest deterrent tip. Um, uh, and um, and then also when you've got, uh, when, when plants are a little bit older, you want to think about um, protecting the shoots from birds. Um, so you might want to uh, put uh, netting out to uh, shelter or to um, protect any uh, fruiting um, crops. Um, but also birds love young um, leaves and uh, greens. Uh, so they'll have a big old peck at those. You could see those disappear overnight if you don't get the netting out pretty quickly um, and and so yes you might want to try netting you might want to try uh, reflective hangings uh, like old CDs you quite often see or you might want to have a go at building your own um, making your own scarecrow which might be quite fun um, and then finally we uh, we just need to cover the basics of food hygiene which is that you don't want your vegetable patch being used as a toilet by cats, dogs or foxes and there it's really a matter of um, I think uh, just barricades really so it might be um, sticks or uh, branches that are uh, going to deter um, almost like a mesh you could prepare to um, deter um, anything from using your uh, raised bed as a, as a toilet. Uh, not a particularly nice subject but in any case all, um, all plants and uh, seeds need um, different uh, things or they have different predators so carrots might have carrot fly. Uh, leeks are now prone to a thing called allium leaf miner uh, so it's always worth having a little read up to see what might be after your crops and, and adapting um, things to uh, to give your crops the best chance of survival really. 
And of course, we also um, at Mind Food grow uh, pest um, herbicide free. We don't use any herbicides, we don't use weed killer. Uh, and that's something that all uh, young plants um, uh, need protecting from. Uh, so what is a weed? Well, a weed is really anything that's in the wrong place for you. I mean, weeds are just, um, they are thieves. They're stealing water and soil and nutrients and space from whatever you're trying to grow. So they're really worth um, dispatching uh, at the roots as quickly as you can. And one of the reasons why it's very good to sow into rows is not just because it makes things nice and tidy, it's because it's very easy to see which are the weeds that you want to get rid of at a very early stage. So the key then is really to make sure that you're getting rid of weeds um, as soon as possible and particularly before they start flowering because when they start flowering that's when they start setting seed and that's when they'll start making a whole load of uh, new season weeds uh, for you to have to tackle. So then the next uh, thing that we were talking about was um, nurturing and that's all about ongoing care so that's really largely about uh, noticing your plants needs so if the leaves are looking a little bit dull and uh, droopy then it probably needs more water if you notice that a plant that's in the shade isn't doing as well as a similar one in the sun then it's time to move it along um, and for um, uh, fruiting plants uh, and vegetables where they're um, delivering a whole new uh, food source uh, for you it's worth giving them an extra feed and that's really about supercharging the earth around them with all the uh, special minerals and um, yeah the minerals that they need and you can make your own feed for free by uh, making a comfrey tea and we'll maybe post about that a, an, another time um, so yeah when when it's um, uh, when you're trying to uh, grow things it's not a matter of making a plant grow it's really about letting it grow and we're a lot like that so weeds um, our weeds could be um, negative influences um, they could be particular people it could be uh, uh, relationships it could be being on the internet too much it could be just some old bad habits um, so uh, and in terms of nourishing um, your well-being, um, anything that's going to um, promote more helpful uh, behaviours and thinking, they're going to be uh, nourishing. And you might want to think about your five ways to well-being again and see if you can do incorporate more of those into your, uh, into your uh, week. In terms of space to grow, uh, for us it's about keeping an open mind to... Um, to building on what's already going well and making the most of opportunities around you. So shaping your uh, days uh, to help you thrive is really key and we're going to actually spend a little bit of time on that next week when we look at planning your well-being, which sounds pretty impossible, but it's, you know, you'll do it. <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, leave you with a little video about potting on um, because what's going on underneath the... Um, uh, ground is just as important as what's going on on the surface and I have to just say I've got a little prop here next to me which has evolved uh, well has has become a bit of a monster actually since I've just started talking so originally I was bringing you this plant to show how it was lacking in uh, space so all these roots are about ready to find their own way we've even got two pot uh, two plants in the same pot so we'll divide this into two separate pots but you can just see there just in the time that we've been here a snail has come to uh, to uh, make trouble have a little gnaw away at those stalks so uh, I'm going to rehome that and leave you with this little video about potting on and um, and as ever if you've enjoyed this session uh, please uh, like love or follow us on Facebook and don't forget to share this with someone you feel could benefit too thanks very much bye